Hi, this is Brian Person from Live World, and in the screencast, I want to talk to you about and walk you through uh, the latest feature from Facebook for Facebook Pages, which is a automatic content filtering mechanism and a spam filter uh, for your Facebook wall. Now, it's only available for admins, and, and Facebook is, is saying that this will help remove low-quality content or spam. Uh, from your fans that they post that to your wall. Uh, the problem is, which I'm going to demonstrate in the screencast, is what Facebook thinks is spam may not necessarily be so. So you're looking at the Live World Facebook page, which I am the admin of, and up at the top here, I just get a notification box of this new feature with a link to read more information, so that may be helpful for you. Now I want to go into the Edit Page option here, and then from this new dashboard that Facebook introduced relatively recently, click on the Manage Permissions button. It's the first link at the top left. And now they have this option here called Wall Spam Filter. And there are two choices. You can choose to hide the spam filter, which I can't think of a reason you would want to do that. Because again, as I said, there are going to potentially be mistakes from what Facebook thinks is spam. And you want to double check that work. Uh, secondly, uh, the link will always be av available to admins only. So I choose this option, uh, then I click Save Changes to make sure it's in effect. Uh, now let's go back out to the wall. Uh, in the past, as an admin, you would have three views of the page. Uh, you could view this for posts from your page, in this case Live World, and posts from fans, uh, just posts uh, from Live World, or uh, just posts uh, from fans. And now with the spam filter, there's this fourth option here uh, which says spam. So the first time I checked this, just after the new feature had been introduced, there were actually three posts uh, that Facebook deemed as spam uh, that were made by Bryant Laszlo. Now Brian is actually a moderation manager at Live World and he posts every week or so updates to our fantasy football league. We have a, a, an internal fantasy football league and uh, Brian just posts results and kind of some uh, smack talk in there and we think it's a way to highlight the personalities and the goings on uh, behind the company so we like Brian to do that. So this is not spam. I imagine Facebook thought it was because there's this link to an external site but in this case, I really want this post to go on the wall for our fans to see it. So right here in the right-hand side, there's a blue box uh, with a white X. I click on that, and I choose the option to unmark as spam. So uh, if I go back to the wall and look at posts from Live World and others, we should see that here's the post from Bryant. It is now back on the wall. Now, if Facebook misses a spam post in their filtering, there is an option for me as the admin to send something to the spam filter. And it's a pretty similar fashion. I click on this box, I click mark as spam, and then I go back into the spam filter, and there is uh, that post. Now, this may be an option if you have to escalate it if you're managing the page for a client and there's a questionable post that Facebook has missed you can put it into the spam fil uh, filter and then escalate it and have someone else review it or if you just need a second set of eyes uh, it could be really helpful uh, one other point that I want to make about this new feature, uh, it definitely uh, is being used for original posts from fans, uh, which is what Brian had done here, but it doesn't appear to be in effect for comments to original posts from the brand. So if we Live World uh, on our most recent post asking for people to share their trick-or-treat uh, photos in the spirit of Halloween. If someone posts a comment here, uh, that doesn't look like uh, those posts are going to go into the spam filter from Facebook. So it's not a, a complete feature here and as I've said and I want to emphasize uh, you really shouldn't just take Facebook's word for it because there's going to be stuff in there that shouldn't be and there's going to be stuff that isn't in there that should be. So as a moderator, as a page admin, it's incumbent upon you to do your due diligence on the moderation side. So again, this is Brian from Live World. If you have any questions about this uh, new feature, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Thanks.